to my editing space. Today I'm going to show you how I edit my videos. And it's going to be surprisingly a very relaxing experience, trust me. So I recently upgraded my editing software to Filmora. site 
filmstocks.com and here you can basically download and purchase different Filmora effect packs or videos, extra audio materials, images. So if you want to do something extra to your videos, if whatever you're looking for is not already in Filmora, then Filmstocks is a great place to find that. So for instance, if I were looking for a video footage of nature to add to my videos, then I can go to this video section and click on nature. It has different themes. I love this one with lilacs. It's so calming and relaxing. How beautiful is that? And these are all in high quality. And as you can see, they have 26,372, oh my god, <laughs> pages, only pages. Back to our interface, and underneath the tab titles, you will basically find a lot of titles. So many different styles, different colors, and you can transform them. It's the best thing about Filmora. You can transform them as much as you want. You cannot do that in iMovie. For instance, if I choose this one, a lower third one here, I can transform the text. I can choose whatever font that I want. They have a wide variety of fonts. I can, you know, relocate everything here. I will write vlog here, by the way, because this is, this is a video for my vlog channel. And, um, I'm going to use this a lot also for my ASMR videos, because, like I said, iMovie that I was editing on before doesn't let me do that. And this you can change. Look at that. Just look at the diversity of options. This really gives freedom to your imagination. You can even replace the text, place it wherever that you want. You can change the colors of your text. Here, I think I'm going to change it to yellow. Yeah. It's really perfect, really convenient. Let's play back. And see, that looks really cute. I really like it. Also, the cool thing about these titles is that these are also divided in subsections. Here you have custom, where you can basically custom make anything. Here you have openers, and when my sister saw the openers, she just lost it. She was like, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Yes, it's pretty, and you can like give freedom again to your imagination. Here I will make an opener for my vlog. Anya vlogs, again changing the font. Oh my god, isn't this so cute? Doing the edits on Filmora reminds me of having my, like, video journal, you know? Not the less pretty than Cosmopolitan or Allure, you know? You can make really high quality videos with this. Then, of course, subscribe. And you should subscribe. And here, let's type Filmora Wondershare. And I'm using the Filmora 9. <laughs> but I'm not going to keep that in my video for vlog. That's pretty great. You can also change the colors here as well. This pinky one looks really good, I think. And let's change the subscribe one to a little bit. Yeah, I really love it. Very summery and cute. I adore this, okay? Let's play back. Looks really pretty. Doesn't it? After openers, there come just titles, which are basically, again, titles. You have some simple ones, you have some ones that are more animated. Really, everything to make your video super 
super cute. Lower thirds is what I just used. Subtitles, this is basically when you want to add subtitles or a translation to your video. Then you can do that. As you can see. And finally, and credits. And here you again have a lot of options like this classic cast one or this one that looks kind of really professional to me, kind of award winning. <laughs> um, and then we have this one. This is really awesome too. Or this one that's really kind of cute. <laughs> I'll use that one. So all you need to do is just grab it, bring it to your timeline, and edit the text. Although I like everything about the text, I like the fonts, I like the colors. So I'll just write my name, starring Anna and Will Smith. New concept also lets you get a lot of awesome, awesome, awesome features for your video just to diversify and add more color. Now let's move on to transitions and Filmora is probably the richest software that I've ever used in terms of transitions. I have, like I said, installed and uninstalled many editing softwares and none of them had as many transitions as Filmora. Now let's try some of these transitions. Okay, let's try something very simple at first and see how it looks. It looks very nice, very smooth, very pleasant to the eye. Now let's try something bright, something bright. I'm in a mood for something bright. And let's see how that will look. Oh, I really like that. That looks really cute. Very summery. <laughs> Very pretty. Effects is another really cool tab that we have. Because here you will find a huge number of different effects. For instance, let's try Amaro now. You can just grab it, put it over your video. You can make it as long or short as you desire. So again, very easy, very user-friendly. I really like that. I don't like having a headache after I've edited a video. And the cool thing is that if you've applied an effect and it's too strong, like you feel it's like not working for your video, you can click on it and change the transparency of that effect. So I'll set it to 29 and I think that looks pretty good. Effects are also divided into subgroups. You have filters, you have overlays and when it comes to overlays, I really like the light leaks. I find they just give a cool effect to the video. And um, yes, I never knew what it was before and the people used in their videos and then I found out what it was. <laughs> and honestly, the light leaks that you find for free like on YouTube, they're not that great, and these are just amazing, okay? Amazing light leaks. Look at that. And you can also adjust the transparency of the light leaks, making them appear really strongly of the video, or very lightly. Another cool thing about editing on Filmora is that you can cut your clips in multiple ways. For instance, if I feel like my intro is too long, I can grab this red line, click on scissors, and there you go. It will cut your video in two, but another way is by grabbing the side of your clip and just making it short or long. This is really awesome. Again, very handy, very easy to use without any headaches. I think people who edit a lot, they will know that you can get headaches after editing. So this is LUT and again, it offers you a lot of effects. Another tab is elements. And basically here you're going to find a lot of stuff. 
stickers to add to your video. I like this XOXO kisses and hugs, hugs and kisses. And as you can see, you can again adjust the stickers. You can do it over there on the left. You can also just grab it and make it small or large. You can reposition it, turn it around. You can do pretty much whatever that you want. Split screen is where you will find a lot of different options how to do split screen. Unfortunately, iMovie only allowed me to do like one type of split screen, dividing it in two parts, but here you can choose as many as you want. For instance, I really like this one, and you can again adjust it. Everything on Filmora you can adjust and change, like everything. You can even adjust and change this um, video clips in the split screens separately. The way that you can put videos on your split screens is in the media section. You just grab the video and put it wherever you want it to lay. This might not be the best selection for split screens, but it really will be perfect if you're doing like lookbooks, for instance, or like different characters. Can you see? Very beautiful. By the way, another small detail about Filmora is that it has a render button, which I really like. I like my editing software to have a render button. A really unique feature of Filmora is the feature called grouping. Now, what grouping is, is that if you've added a particular section of your project, say I have edited these clips together and I want the effect and everything not be moved. You can right click and then click keep group and then move it around as much as you want without any danger of any of your editing being lost. And if you want to ungroup, you can just click ungroup and ungroup everything and start editing it again. That's a really useful feature, especially if you're doing big projects or a long video. All right, now let's go back to Audius because I wanted to show you something. So when you take an audio track, whatever track it may be, I'll just choose something from the library, you can adjust the volume to your video tracks by grabbing this line, bringing it down if you need it down, or bringing it up if you need it up. You can do the same with your video tracks, but my tracks don't have audio. Another cool feature of Filmora is beat detection. If you right click on the audio track that you want to use in your video, you will see this beat detection section. Click on it and a black square thing will appear there in the corner. Now this will let you see the upbeats and the downbeats in your video. The red marks are the downbeats, and if you want to see the upbeats too, you can just right click and select beat options, uncheck mark highlighted beats only, click OK, and you will see the blue dots as well. This is a really useful option because this will allow your music to flow with your video. You can also change the speed and the duration of your track, as you can see. You can even use reverse speed mode. <laughs> we don't want that. And I'll delete the audio because I'm not going to use that in this particular case. Another really cool option that Filmora offers, among many, many, many other options, is the pan and zoom and crop and zoom. So if I right click on my track and click on crop and zoom, you can see that this window appears where I can literally zoom in wherever I want. 
like my eyes so that you can see the makeup. Another really cool option is the pan and zoom. Pan and zoom. Here you can choose where your video at what angle you want it to begin and where to end. So start as this red window and end as this green window. See? That gives a really nice effect. We can also use it the other way around and pretty much transform it as many times as we want. Like if I want it to start on my eyes and end on my lips, I can totally do that. See? It looks like the cameraman is doing the work, but it's only for more has been, so... If you like using special effects on your videos, Filmora got you covered because it also has a green screen option. Everyone knows what a green screen is, pretty much. Uh, usually it's used for special effects, so if you want to do role plays and cosplays, this is a really good program to use green screen with. It's perfect. And one more thing you can do is color correct the videos individually. Another cool feature that Filmora has is the color correction. You can uh, work with the white balance of your video, with the tint, lightness, brightness, contrast, etc. My video is pretty perfect to me, it's looking good to me, so I don't want to color correct it. Okay, so I'll finish here, because editing of a full video takes many hours. So this was it, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Definitely check Filmora out, it's really worth your attention. If you're looking for user-friendly, yeah, 